on a little snowy roadside hike. We're going somewhere fun today, if we can get back there, but we should be able to. So we're at, I'm not gonna tell you actually, I'll show you when we get there. Look at this, this place, this time, awesome. This might be worth mentioning, I'm with my friend Chris here, who I tagged in the last video at the Artist Point. Let's say hi to Chris. You wanna be in the video, Chris? Sure, why not? <laughs> We're having fun. <laughs> That's all you got? That's the best you can do? He's, he's got the, uh, what do you got there? Waiters? Boots. Waiters in my boots. You got any produce in there or anything? No. No? My rubber boots leak, so. Okay. Gotta have the waiters. <laughs> and right now we're in Snowmageddon. So the grocery stores, everything has been sold out of bread and all, you think, of, the one thing is they do have beer, which is nice. So that's, a, that's been okay for me. But yeah, oh, check out this hike. You guys, check this out. One of my favorite things is when you have the moss with the snow and then you get that sunlight with a little bit of snow falling out and catching the light, that glitter. But it's that glitter that doesn't stay. Not like that glitter that sticks with you and you got a lot of questions from your lady friend. Not that type of glitter. How nice is this out here? It is just beautiful. Shout out to Justin right there. There's his tag. Hit him up on Instagram. He was here yesterday, hit me up, told me I gotta come out here and make a video. So here we are. Chris on the way to the grocery store. <laughs> little bit of a slippery. Luckily I'm not wearing the same boots that I wore the other day in the snow. You saw my last video. Almost down to the falls. Yeah, it's frozen, it's good. Oh boy, we have made it. We have made it. Oh, we have made it, you guys. So, enough of my face, check this out.
Wow, that got super dramatic real quick. Okay, let's get back to it. So basically what I'm gonna do now is just take my camera out, walk around very carefully. One, it's slippery, but I also don't wanna ruin it for Chris and myself and step somewhere that maybe it's a composition one of us wants and we just step through the fresh snow. So always gotta be mindful of that with snow photography. But yeah, there's, there's these rocks down here. They kind of have the fresh snow on there. And before I get everything set up and committed to a shot, I'm just gonna kind of go around with my camera and kind of find some compositions. I kind of already know what I want. So just a matter of getting to that point. Chris brought waders, which is smart. I can see him setting up down there. I think he looks more like a, he looks more like a shoe medic right now. He's got a pocket knife out. He's got something going on. He's taping up his stuff. I just brought some boots. They may not be tall enough. So yeah, but let's try to get a shot. Light's okay. It's kind of, it's kind of harsh coming through here. It's, it's mid morning, but it's dark through here anyway. So it's going to be a pretty high contrast scene. So we'll have to maybe do multiple exposures, blend the best parts. We got ice all along the uh, back wall here. Such a cool scene back here. Chris, fully committed. I mean, what is it, 20 degrees out right now? Yeah. 25 at most in the sun. All right, Chris is actually working on a really cool composition here. He's got this rock with that ice on there. I have to admit, I'm very jealous I didn't bring my waders. But I'm also not jealous of how his lower parts must be feeling. But yeah, he's gonna lead that straight into the falls over here. All right, I actually threw my rubber boots on. So, got these guys rocking because I'm kind of walking on ice that breaks through under the rocks and I have no idea just how deep it is. So let's hope it's not more than two feet, foot and a half. Okay, another fun little shot I got here. I came in pre-scouted, so just bring it back, but we have some foreground interest, some ice leading to the falls. All right, I'm gonna set you guys down and set up. One of the tour helicopters cruising through. Chris is back here with an update. Sounds like he lost a tripod leg. Dunked his lens in the water. Didn't have any gloves on. Dunked my arms in the water. They're all, the gloves are all wet. Did you get the shot? I think so. We'll see when we get back. <laughs> if you got it, maybe he'll share it with me and I can show you guys. <laughs> Let's get back, here we go. So, set up here. Got this composition going on, focus, straight to the falls. So with a shot like this, and the foreground kind of blocking, I wanted to make sure to keep a break, and it's, it's really hard to tell right now, but I wanted to keep a break where you can see the water where the falls are actually going in. So, I can mimic the composition here. Just getting that little bit of water right there. And I'm gonna focus stack this, so I'm gonna shoot the foreground one shot, and then the waterfall the next shot. Just two shot focus stack, super easy. So here's something I like to call stuck in a calm. And I've shot, I've got quite a few good photos that I feel look good on the back of the screen, but I just can't seem to pry myself away from this composition and you just need to do that, so don't get stuck in a calm. Be confident, feel that you nailed your shot, and move on.
is gonna be the final shot for today. We've kind of lost a lot of the light. There's some cool ice down here. Again, we just straight into the waterfall. This photo here, I just blew it. The composition's so poor. Uh, I neglected to notice how much blank space was on the right hand side and how much heavier that made the left look. And it doesn't lead your eye through the image. Also, the waterfall doesn't look centered, in which case it actually is. So just a poor composition here. And this just goes to prove decent light doesn't outweigh poor composition. Now I tried to do a square crop as well to see if that might fix it, but it still looks bad. I did shoot this vertically because I really liked the way the ice looked on the foreground. And again too, it's just it's just a poor composition. The rocks are too messy, and again the waterfall doesn't look centered. So ultimately, two photos headed to the circular file. So this is how it goes when your waders fail. <laughs> it's cold out here. <laughs> Alright, so that's going to do it for Lower Snoqualmie Falls. Had a great hike in here, beautiful day to be out. So if you guys like this type of content, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Bye.